Hey, more of my birthday stuff arrived, but technically it's not the Simiax Legion, but technically one of them's a monkey and the other one's an anime vampire lady. So I figured I'd show this off anyways. Um, yeah, yeah, these are, these, uh, I ordered from someone else. Uh, one of these I ordered from Sarex's Bag of Holding. That would, I think, be the, the orangutan guy. Um, I, or, I think I got the Saris Victoria... Uh, Helsing figure here from uh, uh, Unlimited Print Works or something, both on Etsy. But uh, yeah, just figured I'd show these off, and I can also show off some of the work in progress I've made on the Simiax guys. Uh, yeah, I decided to get the Batu in the big in the big mode so that I can have a big big monkey, and uh, I think I'm gonna paint this guy up uh, like a like a Gigantopithecus. Um, but also because, uh, I think I saw an artwork some, at some point, like some sort of paleo art of, uh, Gigantopithecus with, like, black and white fur, and I'm probably gonna color him like that, just because I think it'd be cool and be different from the other orangutans who are all orange, and that's why they're called orangutans, not the fact that Indonesian, uh, orang means person, that's definitely not why, um, yeah, so you can see this guy, he'll, he'll fit in well with the, the Simiax dudes. He's even got a, a little spooky mask as a shoulder pad, which a lot of the other guys do. I think, specifically Batu, this little orangutan guy, I think he's made by the same people as the Simiax, actually. So that would make sense. Unfortunately, I think, and I could be wrong, it could be my fuck up, but I think I ordered him with the mace, and it came with two of the three weapon options, the sword, the staff, but not the mace, but that's okay, the sword is still really cool, um, yeah, that's basically, that's, that's that guy, uh, and then here we have, uh, the anime character, uh, from Helsing, this is the vampire police girl lady, Saris Victoria, um, I know eventually I will get an Alucardini from that same series, but, uh, yeah, yeah, you can see she's got an anti-tank rifle, which is pretty badass, uh, you know, Helsing Ultimate made, uh, made her shoot the cannon, and then also the show itself that they stole, stole the footage from, not like in a bad way, I don't have anything against the Bridge series, but yeah, uh, these are just cool. Um, this vampire lady probably won't fit in with the, uh, the monkey army. I think that's fair to say. She is a big-titted uh, English policewoman with a bad English accent, and she has an anti-tank rifle. So unless the monkeys are facing tanks or, like, vampires, I don't know. But uh, still, really cool. Now I want to show you just some of the works in progress. Uh, now this one isn't... <clears throat> Part of my Simiax Legion Hall, it's just another monkey man that I have that I've been working on. Uh, still definitely not completed. Uh, it would probably be pretty hard to see the, the color on him, because it's... Uh, basically, I, all I've done with this guy is put on the, uh, the gun metal, I dry brushed some brown on his uh, black fur, and uh, I gave him a brown uh, headband and arm bracelet thing. Uh, sorry, I'm about to sneeze. Oh, God. Okay, maybe I'm not. Um, but yeah, this guy will fit in pretty well, I think. He's just a... Oh, God! <coughs> <coughs> oh, Christ. Sorry about that. I uh, hope I didn't make anyone vomit. Uh, but yeah, this guy's real, real basic. I still want to color the little, uh, dangly little loincloth, not even loincloth, like the Roman fold things on his crotch, I don't know what the fuck you call those, his little skirt thing, uh, now, here's one of the Simiax guys, it's the dude, it's the chimp dude, on the, uh, oh god, this is a bad idea, okay, there we go, on the saber tooth, um, I've painted a little bit of the metal, you know, shaded it a bit, um, you know, just picking out the details slowly, I gave him, because I think he's, the way I'm taking it is, 
a lot of the guys with the swords are uh, more commander dudes, so this guy could maybe be the leader of the Sabertooth Cavalry, and uh, so he's got like a red metal uh, bracelet. In my game, that's usually Orc Calcum, which is the Atlantean metal, which is red, because it's cool, basically. Um, yeah, you can actually see the spike on the back of this guy is a little off. That's because it broke off in uh, packaging, and uh, I had to glue it back on, but that's okay. I think the same with his sword. Okay, I think I'm about to sneeze again. <coughs> Sorry. God, that's unpleasant. I mean, it feels good to sneeze, but, uh, you know, you probably don't want to be around that. Next is uh, another non-Simiax monkey dude. This is a Mage Knight mini that I've uh, started painting up. I mean, I had given him a little bit of paint because I thought he was kind of cool earlier, but uh, I've touched it up. It's really hard to see, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, I've technically given his skin and hands and feet a uh, different dark color, but uh, it's hard to tell. Uh, yeah, he's really simple. I mean, he's a Mage Knight mini. He's not like these 3D printed uh, Simiax guys. He's not as fancy, uh, but that's okay. Are you going to fucking... There we go. Yeah, just uh, working on that. <coughs> Next up is one of the guys who isn't Simiax but came with the same order. It is that Draxy Ranger. I'm, again, I'm not done with any of these, um, so I'll have to highlight a lot of things. And this guy in particular, his uh, his gun isn't painted all the way. Like I've painted some of the metal and I've shaded it and stuff, but uh, the the wood of his gun is not painted yet. Uh, once I get to the wood, that's going to be a whole thing. I've decided to make him a black reptilian, because I think that is cool. Uh, and he's got a kind of dark gray trench coat with a brown leather, uh... <coughs> Sorry about that. Uh, there was an alarm on my computer. Uh, with a brown leather, uh, kind of poncho thing. Uh, I could have painted them the same color, but I decided not to. Uh, I am one of those guys in high school who thought trench coats were cool. And you know what? I still do. People were like, oh god, the weird white kid's wearing a trench coat, he's going to shoot up the school. It's like, I don't, I don't think I was ever going to do that. <laughs> I don't think there was ever any, uh, any, uh, pro any, uh, chance of that happening. But, you know, people are retarded. Uh, <coughs> now here's another monkey. Here is the gorilla, the gorilla commander. Uh, I've painted him up a bit. You know, I've got the the red on his uh, sort of I don't know what you call that loincloth thing. Uh, I've got uh, there's a little bit of a wrapping that uh, like right there, right there that uh, I actually used a red metallic, so because this guy's a commander, he's got some more calcum, which in my game is kind of like better than steel, I don't know. But, uh, yeah, yeah, I'm not finished with any of these, like I said, but having fun. Here's another gorilla dude that I've been painting. It is the Silverback. And uh, I decided after painting his helmet and his little... Uh, I don't even know you call that, like, leg pads, whatever, with a uh, kind of a steel color. I was like, what if they're bronze and they're, like, patinaed? Wouldn't that be cooler? And to be fair, I stole that from someone else's artwork, this guy. Um, but, you know, like I said, work in progress. But I think he is cool. He is cool. I would show you the uh, the Bobo Kai little chimp warlord, but there's barely anything painted on him. Instead, I will show you the two final guys uh, that I've put a lot of paint on. 
uh, well, there's technically, there's a little bit of paint on the alligator guy I bought a few weeks ago, but that's, that's not, uh, fuck it. Uh, I'm not going to do that. Uh, here is the orangutan priest. As you can see, I've painted some of the metal on him, on his, uh, shoulder pads, which I haven't fully detailed. Um, because they have, like, faces on them, so there's a lot of detail to pick out. Um, obviously I haven't done the fire. Um, but, the, you know, the crown is fun. Uh, you know, he's got the... Yeah, I just like the idea that these fire priests have a lot of more calcum. Because it's, uh, I like red metal. It's just cool. Uh, yeah, yeah, he's got little fire details on his breastplate. So that's cool. And now... Finally, uh, here is the one that I'm so far most proud of, which is the uh, Jengal High Priest, the Orangutan High Priest. It's kind of hard to see some of the details, but basically there's a lot of, like, demon faces all over uh, a lot of these guys' minis, especially the Orangutans. And so what I did is I painted them with red metal. Um, I picked out eyes and gems with a green metallic color. Um, and then I put gold as the horns and silver as the teeth. Now, I've also put silver as the tongues. I might change that. I might mix, like, a pink metal. I don't know. But you can kind of see it on that guy's shoulder pad, right? He's got, a, like, a little demon guy. And he's also got uh, gold for his, uh, like, I guess those are supposed to be eyebrows. I don't know. It's very stylistic. I think it's possibly based on some Asian... Uh, artwork, not sure what part of Asia, probably a lot of parts of Asia, um, which is somewhat fitting because orangutans are from Asia. It's kind of like if you have a miniature of a dachshund and you're like, oh, he's wearing later hosen. Are dachshunds German? I assume they are. <coughs> the name makes me think they are. But yeah, it's, uh, you can see on the, the back of his uh, staff, it's the same thing. And yeah, just like highlighting this uh, has been a lot of fun, and, uh, yeah, I'm having fun with these guys. So anyways, I hope you're doing well, and I hope whatever hobbies you have, you're having fun with them. Alright, talk to you later. Bye-bye.